So in my last iPhone 12 screen refurbishment video, I damaged the screen as you guys know. I'll be reattempting with this cracked screen to see if I'll be successful this time. I'm not 100% sure what I did wrong, but my guess is while I was cutting through the glass, that's where the damage happened. So right away, I'll use my LCD separator on the vacuum on. So grab my cutting wire and start to cut through. This time I'm gonna make sure I'm cutting downwards. Hopefully I don't damage the touch. But like I said, every failure is a time to learn. So if I fail again, I'll keep trying. That's how you get better and get more experienced. If there's anything you're trying to do, my advice to you is to start and kick away every fear of failure, because that's part of the process of getting better. So if you're watching this video right now and the repair like this scares you, I like you to just start, because if you don't start, you can never advance. You can see it's cutting a lot quicker. Okay, you can see that it came out a little quicker than the last time. Hopefully I didn't damage it this time. I'll test it real quick. So we can see I damaged the touch. You can see it right here. This is probably what makes the touch work. It's the layer between the glass and the LCD or the OLED. So you can see it right here. That is the touch. So I have to find a way to get my wire between that so I don't damage it. So I'll try with another screen. Wish me luck. Hopefully I get it this time. But that's the whole process. I keep trying to like master this and that way you guys can learn from all my mistakes and be better at this. So, so far I've not been successful with starting with a cotton wire. This time my plan is to use a precision knife to start the process before I insert my cotton wire. So hopefully I can get below the layer. So let's see, I'm not sure if I got below, but it looks like it has a good insertion, I think. So now I'll just cut through with a wire. If I fail at this one, I'll try again till I get it right. Okay, I'm hoping this time it works. Can't see anything yet till I actually take it off. Okay, so far it looks good. So you can see the part that looks like it's shiny and here the collar looks like copper that's the layer for the touch so my guess is it's still intact we'll try it out test it and see if i damaged it again i need to take this little piece of glass out hopefully i don't mess this up one thing i can say i've learned so far is that now i know the layers which is the glass which is the layer for the touch that's something you never know till you actually experiment which is why I enjoy experimenting. Okay, I think I have that glass out. Now I'll test the screen just to see if it still works. That way we don't have to waste our time cleaning. It's not turning on. Okay, I think I didn't connect the screen, so I'll do it again. So yeah, you always wanna make sure your flex cable is connected properly to the connector, else the screen's not gonna power up. I think it's connected now, moment of truth. Okay, looks like that works. And now we can see this works. It looks a lot better than the other one. I think this was a success. So I think to start the incision, technique I've found so far that has worked is using a precision knife to try to get between the glass layer and the touch layer. So I'll clean it up to start the process of slapping the glass on. This time I'll try to use this remover tool. I know you can also damage the screen with this. If you're doing this, be careful. I'm not sure if this is efficient or I haven't mastered using this tool. It's one of the above. Once I master everything about screen refurbishing, I'll keep updating you guys. But that's going to happen with time as I keep learning, letting you guys know all the mistakes. So far, it looks like it's worth learning because you can actually save some money. And if you're a repair store, you can improve your profit margin. Okay. Now, I'll just use the ochre remover. So this ochre remover I always talk about. You can get any ochre remover. It doesn't have to be this one. But it's the one I got first. So it's the only one I know so far. So make sure you're not pressing hard. Hopefully we don't damage it. So after applying the ochre remover, I think it became easier to use this tool. So next time I'll probably apply some ochre remover first before I actually use this tool. Because right now I can see it's taking it out a lot easier and quicker. So it's almost clean. Once I clean it up, I'll test it again just to see if it still works. 
over time i'm sure i'll find easier ways to do this repair so make sure you like and subscribe turn on that notification so you'll be the first to know when i upload new videos so you can see my progress and see all the new techniques i use because my goal is to be as efficient as possible when doing any repair so if i find an easier method i'll let you guys know okay so now I'll test it out okay it turns on we'll see if the touch works everything looks good so far doesn't look like i messed it up this time okay that works the regular test and that works you can see the app still staying with my finger hasn't disconnected yet which is always a good sign everything works so it looks like that was a success so we can now move on to the next stage which is slapping the glass on so after you clean it with the lcd ochre remover you want to make it shiner with some alcohol clean it with your microfiber cloth that's going to make it shine because you want it to be dust free that way there are no bubbles if you notice any dust try to clean that out and make it as dust free as possible not sure how dust free it needs to be i know with the screen protector it has to be as dust free as possible but that way you don't have any bubbles but we'll test and see and that looks pretty good so now grab the ochre glass pick out the protective film try to align it with the oled Use my finger. Some people use some aligning plates. Well, I don't have those, so I'll just use my finger. Hopefully I do a good job. I think that's good. I just press the middle. The last time I wasn't successful with the laminate machine. I'll try it today. Hopefully it works. Okay, so we have it here. We'll try this today. See if it works. I think you want to make sure the flex cable is not bent, so straighten it. Yeah, and I push the start button. Okay, we can see that it looks a lot better compared to the first day. Not perfect yet, but it's a lot better. Okay, that was a lot better than last time. So last time, I think what I did wrong was I tried to push all the sides pressed down, but this time I only pushed it in the middle. I think it laminated better. Now I'll put it in the debubble machine and that should complete the repair. Okay, here we have the debubble machine. I'll just put it on. It should take about 15 minutes. Now I'll start the machine. So the timer should count down all the way to zero. Once it's done, I'll come back and we'll see how good it is. Okay, so the timer's off now and I'll check it real quick. Okay, it looks like that the bubble machine helped it get better. Uh, it looks pretty good to me so far. What do you think? I'll test it out real quick on the phone. Okay, so now I'll test it just to see if it still works. Okay, it turns on. Okay, so I think this was a successful glass refurbishing. If you'd like to see more videos like this, check the video on the right. And for my refurbishing journey, check the playlist on the left. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.